Let's take a random name. Let's take the name Bill. Let's say Bill fornicates, commits adultery, cheats, lies, backstabs, gets drunk, abuses medications, and all around a bad guy, I guess you can say. Now, let's say that Bill feels justified to correct people in sin. How crazy is that? How can someone that is in darkness show people the light when they are in darkness? How can the blind lead the blind? How can someone blind see anything? <laughs> How can the blind see the light? But yet, there are some people that are consistently sinning, trying to show people the light. That is crazy. No matter how well you believe you can teach, you have no right to teach if you are consistently sinning. You have no right. Even if you can play instruments really well in a church, you have no right to do it if you are in sin. Let me say this. Some people may agree that Satan knows the Bible. He may know the Bible much more than us. So since Satan knows the Bible really well, would you allow Satan to teach you? No. Why? Because he is Satan. Okay. You may say that a person knows the Bible really well. If you won't let Satan teach, why would you let that sinful, I guess you can say smart person, that sinful smart person to teach as well? I believe Satan can play instruments really well as well. So are you going to let Satan play instruments in your church? No. Why? Because he is Satan. So why are you going to allow sinful people to play instruments at your church or organization? Think about that. Is it possible that the demons in that sinful preacher or pastor can be transferred to other people as well? I believe so. I don't care how well that gay man or woman can play that instrument. Don't allow that person to play it in your church or wherever because it is dangerous. Well, Kevin, you are just tripping. No. Everything is spiritual. If you sit under someone that is sinful teaching you about the Bible, something is going to happen. Something is going to happen. The same way that you would not sit under Satan to be taught by him, you should not let that happen when a sinful person is trying to teach you. You stay away from people like that unless you are correcting them or trying to help them in some way or form. But you are not over there to entertain yourself. I pray that this makes sense. Let's go to Romans chapter 2, verse 1. To the left is the King James Version. 
to the right is the expanded Bible. Therefore, thou art inexcusable, O man, whosoever thou art that judges, for wherein thou judges another, thou condemnest thyself. For thou that judges doest the same things. And you may say, Kevin, what is this saying? This is the King James Version. What is this saying? Okay, let's look up some words. What does thou mean? Let's look it up. Archaic or dialect form of you. So thou means you. <laughs> you. <laughs> okay. What does inexcusable mean? Too bad to be justified or tolerated. So it means too bad to be justified or tolerated. Okay, let's go to condemn. Express complete disapproval of, typically in public censure. Okay. So therefore, thou art inexcusable. Inexcusable is too bad to be justified or tolerated. So therefore, thou art inexcusable, O man, whosoever thou art that judges, for wherein thou judges another, thou condemnest thyself. For thou that judges doest the same things. So what this is saying, when you are in sin, and you go around telling other people what they need to change while you are in sin. So while you are correcting people, you are condemning yourself. Which is crazy. <laughs> so I pray that this makes sense. Do things in order. If you want to teach, get saved, repent, change. Be right with God. Because all you are doing is condemning yourself. So let me stop here. Yes, it is not about how much you know. It is about what you do with what you know. Because what good is it for me to know the whole Bible but not use it in life. <laughs> Crazy. Let me stop here. God bless you.